Hello and welcome to the video on restoring file and image based backups in Nova Backup. To get started here, we're going to click on the restore tab. The restore tab will only show you how to do file based backups. We'll do image based backups later on in the video. Click on your subfolder where you have all of your backups stored and go ahead and select your latest full file backup. Okay, looking at the properties here, we can see it is a full backup, 24 files, 54 megabytes, and it is located in the C temp folder. The bottom half of the screen will show you all the files and folders inside of this backup set. So in our case, we have C temp, C users, and the C drive. We're going to select all of these. If we simply hit restore here, it's going to restore everything back to its original location and overwrite files if they exist already. If we click on settings, we have the option to restore to alternate locations with the alternate locations option. Click on browse to explore all the places that you can restore your files to. You also have the option to overwrite or not overwrite files. So in our case, we do want to restore our files to an alternate location. So go ahead and click browse. And on the C drive, I'm going to create a folder called file restore. Press OK, press OK, and click Restore. This is a pretty small backup set. Once it finishes, you'll get the notification here that says Restore it successfully. OK, here we can take a look at the log to see what it did. It restored onto the C drive into the File Restore folder. It dropped 24 files. You can take a look at the files here. You see the option was to always overwrite. There were 24 files, 54 megabytes, and it was successful. Okay, go ahead and exit that. Head on over to my computer, into your C drive, into the file restore folder. And the first thing that it'll do when you do an alternate folder restore is that it will show you where you restored onto. So for us, we restored onto the C drive. Go ahead and click on that. And we'll see the temp and the user. Click around in there. You'll see that all the original files are there. They have all been extracted out. Now I'm going to show you how to restore back onto the original location. Go ahead and click on the Restore tab. Go back into your settings and click Restore to Original Location. Click OK. Press Restore. So pretty much what this is doing is just restoring the files back to the original location rather than they're not. So if you have some out of date files, you can do this restore operation to bring those files back up to date. Okay, that completed successfully. Let's head over to the log. Okay, 24 files, 54 megabytes completed successfully. You can close that. And that concludes restoring a file from a file-based backup. Now I'm gonna leave you in the capable hands of our technician, John, who will show you how to restore files from an image. We're gonna go to the Home tab, click on Image Backup, Launch Image Backup Tool, Next. Click Tools, and there's different tools here. We're only going to cover two of them. It's the default, which is Mount Backup Image Volume to Drive Letter, and the Unmount Image from Drive Letter. So default tool, and go ahead and do Browse. In our case, all my images are in CTEMP. In your case, your images are most likely going to be on an external hard drive or a NAS or a network share. If they are on a network location, keep in mind you do have to have the those files copied to a local storage, including external hard drives or, say, yeah, internal hard drive. They will not mount over the network. So now keep in mind this, uh, we have three file extensions in Nova Backup for image backups. They are NDF, full backups, and NDD, uh, differential, and NDI is the incremental image backup. Uh, now, by default, it's only going to show you the full images, so if you want to show all your images, you'd have to click on Files of Type down here, click All Files. In my case, I have two images in this folder. One of them is this NDF file, weekly full image, and the other one is the NDD file, which is our differential. And in my case, I'm going to show you how to mount the full. Uh, left side of the screen, you see source volumes available. These are the partitions that are inside that image originally. Um, so in my case it's a flash drive, it only has one drive letter. And on the right side you have drive letters available, J through Z here in my example. These are the drives that are available in Windows to mount to. Click mount and you're going to see a successful mount here. Process completed successfully. 
open up my computer to verify that drive letter now exists. It does. It's the J drive. I can go inside that J drive, look at all the file contents. I can go ahead and select all these folders and copy them to my desktop, for instance. Click close there. And once the image is done extracting, you can click on unmount here. Unmount is going to show all the images that are currently mounted. In my case, I only have one. So there's the J. Click on mount. It's going to process that on mount end. It says process completed successfully. Go ahead and click close here and bring you back to the main screen in Nova Backup. At this point, that concludes the video on restoring files from both file-based backup and image-based backup. If you have any questions, you can head over to the support tab and check out our knowledge base as well as uh, look at our technical support phone number here and the hours. Uh, that concludes the video. Thank you for watching.